What's up guys? It is Sunday the 29th and I am in Greenwood, Louisiana. It's already 2.20 in the afternoon. I finished my 10 hour break, gosh, right around noon. I finished the load last night, right around one o'clock. Uh, actually, 1.10 to be exact. Drove from location to here, got lucky. As soon as you go through the pumps, the reserved parking is straight ahead, like maybe first six or seven slots. And then three trucks over, a truck pulls out, and I'm, I go in and sneak right in. I pull in head in. I'm just like, I'm tired. That's it. I'm done. Huh, <sighs> man. And uh, so I believe since I finished that load last night at one o'clock, that's going to be on this week's paycheck. Uh, not this week, but for this, the settlement that's that starts today up until Saturday. Uh, I believe it ends Saturday, 11 p.m. That's the cutoff time for you to submit your paperwork. Of course, I submitted mine 1 o'clock early this morning. So that'll be on this next week's settlement. Um, but uh, so that means so far we have one load for this week. And right now I'm just waiting. I called at noon. They said uh, right now that one of the wells is having issues and the other one is, they, they're not ordering sand right now. So hopefully by four o'clock, they said something around four o'clock, they might put place in order for more sand. So then we might start getting rolling. I am close to Shreveport and uh, might be picking up sand from Bo Bozier City, which is just north of uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. So I'm pretty much like about 30 minutes away from the uh, the shipper. Hopefully, that's where we'll be picking up our sand. Unless they say, hey, we need trucks to go to Tyler <laughs> and pick up there, which is fine. Um, last I heard on that email was that uh, the one that was picking up in Tyler heading to Huntington was having some issues. So right now, those are on hold. As far as the one I delivered today, there's no issues there. It's just right now they're not, uh, I guess, pumping or whatever. So that's it for now. I'm just uh, sitting here waiting, heating up some lunch. I'm trying out this uh, this right here, this microwavable little lunch pack. Uh, sorry to break your heart, but it does not come with lime and cilantro. Uh, everything else you see there, yeah. But you heat this up for two minutes on high, let it sit for an hour, I mean, an hour, one minute. And um, since I have like a 700 watt microwave that I got from Wal uh, Walmart, I, I put like, I had an, an additional minute. So uh, I've had another one before, I believe it, may, it might've been this one. It was actually pretty good. I really enjoy this. This is gluten-free, uh, no chicken or anything. So it's technically you can have, say it's vegan. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I'll keep y'all posted, let you know how the rest of this Sunday goes, hopefully. Oh man, hopefully it's good. Oh, oh, forgot. Maybe you've seen the video yet, I don't know. But today, this morning, well, let me go back. You know what, this morning when I got here, it was two o'clock in the morning. And I, I just needed a shower. Um, took a shower, no laundry today came to the truck but before I left I looked around and I've been looking at some Bluetooth uh, headsets thinking like all right you know which one should I get one uh, I use the Bose right now and I love that I love the Bose but uh, sometimes it's uh, the mic has some issues so I figured I'd try it out and went ahead and got me a set blue parrot headset this is the b450 wanted i was thinking about getting the s but the s has uh two ear uh oh my gosh again ear uh ear pieces ear mouse or whatever and uh this is the earpiece it does what i don't like is that it sits directly on top of your ear and pushes your ear against your head i don't like that I'm not used to it, 
So I'm gonna try it out for a couple of days and then we're gonna see whether I'll keep it or, or return it most likely right now. I'm leaning towards returning it because I do not like this sitting on your head. Uh, it sounds great. The microphone sounds great. I have actually watched a couple of YouTube videos with this on, but only hearing it from one ear is kind of annoying because I like to hear from both sides. Uh, that's why I'm used to my Bluetooth uh, wireless, not wireless, well I guess you could say wireless, but because it's not actually uh, hooked up to the phone or anything, it's, it's, it's just its own wire piece from ear to ear. Uh, I'm actually tempted to get the complete wireless ear pieces where it's just, you just put it in your ear and you put another one in your ear and that's it. There's no wire in between. Uh, that's 250 bucks but this here cost me 149 uh, 99 plus tax it was like 164 something like that so but the sound sounds good uh, microphone microphones good as well the noise cancellation is 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 pretty imp impressive not great but it's impressive uh, as far as comf being comfortable I'm not used to it. I don't like the pressure getting that I'm getting on this side or the pressure on my ear. So uh, I don't know, but I, I'm gonna test it out for a couple of days. I got up until seven days to return it, exchange it. So I'm tempted to maybe exchange it and try the one that has two on it, just to kind of see how it is and then go from there, whether I'll return it or not, we'll see. But uh, that's it for now guys. I'll talk to you guys later and y'all be safe. Talk to y'all next time. All right, it's uh, 3.20. I just got off the phone with dispatch. They got a load for me picking up out of Bossier City. Uh, going to Carthage, which is not bad. Uh, from Bossier City, from here to Bossier, it's about mm, less than 30 minutes. And uh, to Carthage is about 45 minutes to an hour. But now I know where I'm going, because last night I missed my entrance and didn't know it had to turn around somehow and then made it back to the actual location and it turns out it was actually a well that I had been to back in late november early february i mean i'm um, sorry late november early december somewhere around there but uh yeah it's, it's the well had been to a while back so they just sent me they just text me the info so uh I'm time for me to get rolling, so I'll go ahead and do my pre-trip and get out All right, of here. guys, we made it to the well. Um, I got the call at 3.30 in the afternoon for a load. I was in Greenwood, Louisiana. The pickup point was in Bossier City, Louisiana, which is about 30 minutes away. I'm like, okay, I can be there around 4 o'clock. Give myself 45 minutes. Um, I remembered that I had an air leak the night before. And it was uh, in the first hopper closest to the tractor in one of the aerators. It was that's where the air leak was. I said, I'd look, let me go ahead and take care of that now before I go get loaded because I'll forget. Man, <laughs> that was a little adventure there. Uh, if you don't know what the valve of, air, of an aerator looks like, I'll try to describe it as best as I can. Basically, it's like a little suction cup that has three hoses. Well, at least the one that I was taking apart had three hoses hooked up to it. The main hose that provides the air and a hose on each side that goes to the other aerator. Uh, one on the right and one on the left. And then uh, the bottom part that goes onto the actual bottom cone of the, uh, of the hopper. Now between the, this little cup valve thing and the hopper there's a rubber seal or gasket whatever you want to call it it's kind of thick well it was out of alignment when I loosened it I could have fixed it I could have just lined it and that's it just loosen it a little bit more and then just retighten it but I, I felt that there was a lot of sand in there so me thinking I could fix it so I was like all right let me loosen it keep loosen it and see if I can put my finger in there and dig out all this sand well I loosened it to the point where that was it it just came off the thing that's holding it 
sticks out through a little hole about that big uh, from the inside of the hopper. So there's this thing that sticks out that hole that has a hole at the bottom where the bolt goes into that can just easily fall right in because there's nothing really that's holding it in place besides whatever the three inches that's sticking out of that hole and that's why that little cup is that long because the piece sticks inside that little cup and the bolt which is also what you use to open and close the valve uh, tightens and loosens and that's keeping it in place well now that it completely unscrewed it I was trying to put it back together but I wasn't able to, to line up and there was more sand that was filling up that little cup from all the hoses really so I decided I was like okay I'm in it now let's see what else I can do to try to make this work so I disconnected two hoses out of the three the main hose that supplies the air to the little cup and the hose on the left that supplies air to the other aerator uh, there's three on each hopper uh, the one that was on the the hose that was on the right that supplies air to the other side wouldn't come off I was able to get two it's like all right you know what I'm gonna deal with it with the, the, try to make it work with that and uh, basically I emptied out probably man probably like four or five cups of frac sand that was inside the hoses alone and these are just supposed to be for air supply to the bottom aerators to fluff up and break up the sand from the bot from below so once I finally emptied all the sand trying to line up that bolt to the piece that's protruding from the the hopper was a pain because there's nothing keeping it sticking out so like if you just touch it it'll just go back in and if it go back even further it'll just fall right in and I didn't want that to happen because then I would be in a real situation because I would have to wait to go to a mechanic and uh, or not a mechanic but uh, a technician that works on pneumatic trailers to get that taken care of and that would be Monday which is tomorrow so I'm like, all right, well, I either fix it or I can't. So I just kept cleaning out all the sand that kept filling up the little cup uh, because it wasn't given enough room for that little piece to line up with the bolt. And even though I got everything cleaned out, trying not to push that little piece inward was a challenge. It was like almost like as if I was playing the uh, oh, that game when... In the, back in the 80s uh, surgery where you're trying to pick out these pieces from a from the guy that's laying down and if you touch the metal part it buzzes that's what I felt like I was playing because I did not want to push this pro this this piece inward and then that's it I can't work today so if I was able to line it up get that taken care of then reconnect all the hoses tighten them back up and was able to roll out of that truck stop right around 4.25. Made it to the shipper around 5. Got loaded in 30 minutes or so. Got here at 6.20. And I have a row of trucks that is, that is just already here waiting. And uh, I think I'm probably going to end up spending the night here. And probably unloading after my 10-hour uh, break because last night I was here there was only six I sat here for a little over four hours before I finally got called in to unload and now I come today uh, to this so it looks like I'm just gonna get one load today but the good thing is, um, my guess, I'm probably going to get minimum six, eight hours detention, maybe, maybe even 10. I'm hoping so, but 
uh, that'll make up for it. That'll be pretty much me running two loads, if that's the case. So, hopefully they take their time. Um, uh, looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 14 trucks ahead of me. So, yeah, I'm going to be here a minute. So, so today we're only going to do one load. Which pays five twenty-three and some change. Uh, I get seventy-one percent of that, and if I max out here, let's just say fifty bucks after four hours, and I'm here fourteen hours. That's five hundred dollars. Seventy-one percent of that is three hundred fifty-five dollars. So it's almost as if I ran two loads. Uh, so because let's see, seventy-one percent of five twenty-three. That you're probably looking at. 360 bucks, 365, somewhere around that, plus a 355, so that'll put me right over 700 for the day. And uh, that's good because I didn't have to fill up, but I'm under a, under half a tank, so I should be fine in fuel for the night. But that's it for now, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, uh, oh, uh, for. As an update for now, oh man, I'm testing these out. This is $149 at Pilot. It's okay. Um, I can tell you right now, the 300 foot wireless range is BS. It's, it has an asterisk to it. Well, the asterisk basically means uh, when used with capable devices i'm like okay i, I got an iphone 8 um that's pretty new um it can't make it to the end of my trailer i got i was talking on the phone with my wife walked to the back of the trailer all of a sudden just quiet i'm like hello no response I'm like okay i got to the top of the trailer midway to open my middle hatch i was able to get signal then and my phone was in the front of the truck second go around I was like okay I put my phone on the step of the truck just out so it was outside of the truck walked to the back as soon as I started climbing the trailer it started the signal started breaking up and I and she was telling me the same thing I was breaking up as well got to the middle of the trailer it was okay uh, and that was on the way out because I was closing my hatch at that point. I'm like, all right, now I know this 300 uh, foot wireless range is BS, at least for this product com compared to, uh, com we call it compatible to my phone or whatever. So we'll see. Um, definitely going to exchange it. Uh, sound quality is great. Uh, on both ends, so my wife was able to hear me just fine. I was able to hear her fine uh, Sound was good. That's it for now guys. Y'all take care. I'll see you in the next video uh, Please leave a like Click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye